Hi guys, Habari. Welcome to this tutorial. In this session, we're going to solve question 21 from the KCC Mathematics paper 2021. And we are told the position vectors of point A and point B are OA is 2, 4, OB is 12, negative 4, a point is on AB such that AM is half of AB and a point N is uh, on OB such that ON to NB is 1, 2, 3. So we're given some sort, some sort of ratio here. So we'll be looking at proportion, converting this into proportion. Right, so let's just explain a few things. Well, to start with, uh, I want to just help you to understand that. Try not to memorize the vectors formula because it is all to do with understand understanding what is going on. And trying to remember the formula, they will just frustrate you and you will not understand vectors properly. Now, Let's define position vectors. What is a position vector? A position vector basically starts from the origin, the point of origin 0, 0. And then it moves on from there. Now we're told point A, okay, which, and then we're told OA has this column vector. Remember, this is column vector. So what does column vector do? We got, it means we got this. The top number is horizontal movement and the bottom number is the vertical movement. That's all it is. If it is negative for X, it means it's moving left. If it's positive, it's moving right. For Y, if it is positive, it's going up. Uh, and if it is negative, something is moving down. So with position vector OA is moving two to the right, four up. So if we start from the origin then, because it is a position vector, we're going two steps to the right and then four up. And then we're going to mark this is point A. And now this point A is just literally a coordinate because it started from point zero zero. And then we draw in our vectors guy. You must put in the direction of that vector because we are told OA is moving from O to A and our arrow needs to go from O to A. Now we have position vector OB. So that started from the origin as well and is moving 12 to the right because it's positive and 4 down because it is negative. So if we imagine 12 to the right, so let's say that's 12, and then move down that way. So that is our now point B. Again, this just becomes a coordinate. And then if we draw in our vector, make sure you put the arrow because that's from O to B. So it's moving in that direction. Now, what are we asked to find to start with? We need to find vector AB. So from A to B, let's draw in our vector AB. So again, we're going to move in this direction because it's from A to B. It's very important you pay attention for, with this, what is the beginning of the journey is. So to go from A to B, we need to go in that sense and then go in that sense. So that sense is the opposite of the position vector OA. And then we're going to add position vector OB. So let's write those in. So AB, vector AB is going to be equal the opposite of OA. So negative OA. I'm going to write that here first and then plus OB plus the vector OB. That's all it is. So therefore position vector AB is going to be equal to negative of OA. So 2, 4 plus 
our OB, which is given 12, negative 4. So 12, negative 4. And if you work this out, you will get negative 2 plus 12, which is 10. Negative 4 plus negative 4, you will get negative 4, negative 4, which becomes negative 8. So the vector AB is equal to 10 negative. And now for part II, we're asked to find NM. But we were given the ratio, this is what we were told, vector RN to vector NB uh, is equal to 1, 2, 3. So, uh, of OB, okay, so ON to NB, so OB is over here, and somehow this vector has been divided into how many parts, guys? Where we have one part and three parts. So let's say that is where your N is, ON is a smaller part. So in terms of proportion, this is one fourth, one quarter of OB. And from N to B, this vector NB is going to be three quarters of OB. So if you want to find NM, vector NM, okay, what can we do? What is NM? M, again, we are told, is half of AB. Now, it means M is the midpoint of AB. So let's just put in M over here. Now, NM is this one here. Obviously, we're going from N to M, and the arrow must reflect that. So if we want to find NM, we can go this way and that way. Or you can choose to go the other way. I'm choosing to go to NB and then from B to M. So NM then is going to be equal to three quarters of AB, three quarters of vector OB, plus, what's that going to be? We were told AB, we found AB is moving in that direction. So BM is going to be the negative of half. This is going to be half of AB, vector AB, because that's the midpoint, so that's AB. Now, if we're going in this direction, we're going to take the negative of AB. So we have to have three quarters OB minus half of the vector AB. We have that information. So all we have to do now is just put our vectors in. So three quarters, we are told OB, we already know, is the column vector for that is 12, negative 4. This was given. Take away half of AB. Now, AB is a vector we just calculated in part I, which was 10, negative 8. So let's work this out then. 3 quarters times 12, what do we get? 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So this part, the first number becomes 9. And then 3 quarters of negative 4. Okay, so negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1 times 3. You will get negative 3. So this part will give you, will give you 9, negative 3. Now take away half of 10, so that's going to be 5, and half of negative 8, which is negative 4. If you subtract this, and 9 take away 5 would be a 4, negative 3 take away negative 4, it will be negative 3 plus 4, which is going to give you 1. So the vector nm then is equal to 4, negative 1, guys. So you can clearly see in the diagram what is going on. Now we are asked to find the uh, magnitude of vector nm. So remember, we just calculate that, calculated that vector nm uh, is equal to 4 and 1 there. So 
What does this mean again? Remember, it's just movement, x and y. Okay, this means some vector started from n, okay, and it went 4 to the right and 1 up. And now what we can do to find nm, this vector, so 4 to the right went that way and that way, so 1 up here. All we have to do now is use the Pythagoras theorem. So we can say n m squared is equal to 4 squared plus 1 squared. So n m is the square root of 4 squared plus 1 squared, which is going to be the square root of 4 squared is 16 plus 1 squared is 1, so square root of 17. So n m is equal to 4.12. But we're asked to give the answer into one decimal place. So therefore, the magnitude of Nm then is going to be equal to 4.1 correct to one decimal place. And this is the answer for part III. Okay, guys, so this is another part which you don't need to rely on formula. Okay, you just need to understand what's going on. Translation, it means something is just moving, left, right, up or down. So some vector A, which we have, has moved, was translated, and now it's at 0.5, negative 1. So I'm going to write A, which we're given, so this vector 2, 4, column vector, it moves in x and y direction, so I'm going just going to put x and y, and it landed at some point which is going to be 5, negative 1. Okay, so what do you think happened? If this something had moved from 2 to 5, and then from 4 in the y direction to negative 1, literally you can tell this vector x, y is going to be equal to, what, 2 plus what is 5? Well, it's just 3. Or you can do 5 take away 2. So the movement in the x direction was just 3 to the right. And then it moves from point 4 and went down, and now it's at negative 1. So from 4 to negative 1, how many steps is that? It is five steps, but because it's negative, it went down. So the y value is going to be negative five. So you can see here, negative one, take away four, will, get, will give you negative five. And then the last part, we need to find what the image of b will be under this vector. So what b we know is 12 negative 4 and if we apply this translation we're just going to say 3 minus 5 going to add it where will this end up there, guys so this is now going to be your b a dash this is your image so this is your uh, image of b means b after translation 12 plus 3 is going to be 15. And then from negative 4, it went down again. It's going to be at negative 9. This is all what you have to do. Now, because we are asked to give this as the coordinate, so it's just going to be 15, negative 9. So the coordinate, I'm going to write that in short, of B is 15, negative 9. This is it, guys. So thank you for your patience and I hope you understand a little bit about vectors. And remember, guys, if you like, please like and uh, bye for now.